Okay, how to diagnose meningitis through the CSF analysis from the lumbar puncture. So you suspect meningitis, now you have to do a lumbar puncture. Okay, first of all, meningitis, I mean all types of meningitis, have high protein in the CSF, period. If the protein is high, it's very likely or very unlikely it's fair it's meningitis so all types of meningitis have increased protein you look first for the leukocytes if they're they are elevated it's probably meningitis if there is no elevation which means like less than five cells less than five white blood cells in the CSF that's probably normal but if the leukocytes are more than five i.e. leukocytosis you will have to see other things because elevated white blood cell can be bacterial can be fungal or TB can be viral how to know if the predominant cells are the neutrophils or PMNs this is bacteria if the predominant cells are lymphocytes look at the glucose low glucose will be fungal or TB glucose is normal that's viral Okay, note that glucose will be decreased also in bacterial. So, how to do it? Look at the leukocytes. Elevated, yep. Which one? Neutrophils, that's bacterial, end of issue. Lymphocytes, we look at the glucose. The glucose is decreased, that's fungal or TB. Glucose is normal, that's viral. That's it, remember? All of them have high protein.